Hi, Emily here and welcome to our chair yoga. So find a chair without sides. And today, if you have something that would work as a block, we'll use it on the lap. It could be a box, it could be a book or a really kind of sturdy stack of pillows. And we'll be using it to get a little bit of height as we do a little bit of twisting. You can go ahead and place it off to the side and we'll find it in a little bit. Go ahead and find your way into your comfortable seat. You might wanna sit up right on the edge of the chair and you might set up your chair so you're facing me and see if you can take some of this rounding out of the low back. So really start to tilt the pelvis a little bit forward. The ankles about underneath the knees, maybe the feet about hips distance apart. Sometimes it's nice to shift a little bit side to side, even rock a little bit forward and back. Kind of do a couple of tilts of the pelvis, maybe a hand on the low back for a little support. And then find your place where you're gonna settle in. Might give the shoulders a little roll. Might have a little sigh out of the mouth and either find somewhere steady to gaze out in front of you or start to soften the eyes, closing the eyelids. Take a moment here for the attention to turn more inward to this space, this time, this time where you'll move and stretch mindfully while watching what's happening with the body, being very careful not to cause any self-harm, even being very careful not to cause any harm through your thoughts. So start to pay attention to the breath, watching as you inhale a little expansion, just a little space being made. As you exhale, a little softening somewhere. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, releasing. You could be breathing a little bit slower, faster. Inhale, find space. Exhale, find softness. A couple more rounds on your own, watching your breath, your body. Turning your attention to your posture, your body. Is there any small shifts you need to make? Is there anything in the body asking for a little extra attention or care today? Is there any spot in the body holding some tension? Any grippiness? That could be anywhere from the jaw, shoulders, neck, even a feeling of tightness or heaviness in the belly, even in the toes, the feet, fingers. Take a moment to let the attention wander, noticing. And let the attention wander into your head space, checking in with your thoughts, so much information, so many things we're doing and thinking about all day, so many stories you're telling yourself. They affect you. Take a moment to observe them. Find a little bit of separation between who you really are and these thoughts. Let your attention drop down into your heart space, your emotional check-in. What are you feeling right now? Can you find a way to embrace that feeling, welcome it in, even just let it sit next to you?
Notice if there's any connection to the headspace, to the body. This weaving together of all three. And we'll take a moment to take a big clearing breath. Three of them actually, in through the nose, out through the mouth can help to settle you. So whatever you need to gather up as you inhale through the nose, release it as you exhale through the mouth. It can be with a ha or sigh. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Open the mouth, big exhalation. Biggest one yet, inhaling. Biggest exhale. Gently sealing the lips if that's okay for you today. Breathing in and out of the nose. Tap into a long, steady breath. Might even make a little sound at the back of the throat. You can think of it like that little constriction you make when you're trying to fog up a mirror. Any amount of sound, any amount of sensation in the back of the throat, even if you're breathing in and out of the mouth. And start to open the eyes now. If they were closed, find a steady spot to gaze at in front. You might even let the eyes wander around the room for a moment, just taking in your surroundings. A little turn, twist of the head, maybe looking up, maybe looking down. And then find some rolls of the neck, letting the chin come down into the chest and trace your collarbone, but only going from shoulder back down to center, over to the other shoulder, moving as slowly or more quickly as you want. These little half circles along the front of the chest just starting to warm up the neck a little bit. We'll find quite a bit of work in the neck, both stretching and some strengthening work today. For now, just noticing how it feels. And when you're ready, let the chin fall into the center of the chest. Let it hang heavy there for a moment. You can always have a hand or both on the head at any point to support you in these movements if you feel like the weight of the head would be too much on the muscles. Start to go ahead and let the rest of the back round as well. So starting to make your way very slowly, the head dropping down towards the lap into your forward fold. You can place the hands on the lap at any point. You might even find whatever you were gonna use today on the lap, whether pillows, Place your forearms or hands on those. Some will feel like they have a little bit more space and start to fold even more over the legs. Maybe even letting the hands travel down towards the ground. Wherever you are, take a couple of big deep breaths into the back side of the body. You can breathe all the way around the circumference of the ribs, the sides and the back along the shoulder blades. You might even find folding over like this, you feel like you can fill up even more. Maybe empty out even more. If it's okay on the back of the neck, letting the head be even heavier for a couple more breaths, letting the shoulders relax, the jaw. And 
the hands were further down, so trying carefully to walk them back up into the lap. You can press the hands into the lap, your support, as you start to bring the shoulders back over the hips. Bring the arms by the sides and a couple rounds of half sun salutations. So find your steady spot in the feet, sit up nice and tall. You might reach the arms out long by either side of the body and you can always do your half sun salutation standing as well. Take a big breath in and a big breath out here. Next inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Get really nice and tall. Stay here for an extra breath this time. So softening on the exhale and inhale, press into the feet, grow a little taller. You could even shrug the shoulders up towards the ears if that would feel nice. As you exhale, the hands come down towards the ground, folding over the legs, standing up if you'd prefer. Any amount of fold. And then inhale, lift the heart halfway, really reaching the chest forward. You're about at a diagonal, the heart lifting forward, the gaze a little bit in front of the feet. Stay here for an extra breath as well. Might even roll the shoulders a little bit back, the elbows drawing back out to either side behind you. And next exhale, a little fold back in, a rounding of the spine. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Can sweep the arms back up overhead. Exhale, the palms meet. Hands come down through the midline. Arms by the sides. Couple rounds like this. One breath per movement now. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, back up overhead. Exhale, hands to the lap, maybe a little further down towards the ground, folding forward. Inhale, lifting the heart halfway, diagonal, pressing the center of the breastbone out, and exhale, round the spine. Inhale, sitting up tall, arms sweep out to the sides, meeting up overhead, fingers, palms meet, hands down through the midline. Nice. Inhale, sweeping out to the sides, reaching up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lifting halfway, heart forward. Exhale, rounding in. Inhale, press into the feet. Sit or stand tall, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands down through the center. Nice. Twice more like this if you're choosing to stand. Inhale, standing, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Hands down towards the ground. Maybe they find your support. Inhale, lifting the heart forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, press into the feet. Sit or stand up tall. Reach up overhead. Exhale, hands down through the midline. Once more. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, press into the feet, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands down through the midline by the sides. Take a breath here, press in the feet, sit up nice and tall. And some movements just for the neck now. You could always let the hands relax into the lap now. And First, a little bit of a stretch. Let the left ear fall towards the left shoulder, keeping the gaze straight out ahead. So really just letting the side of the head fall over and it's not gonna meet the ears heading in that direction. Really let the left shoulder sink down, let the right shoulder sink down as well. Let the weight of the head just rest heavy over to the side, noticing the stretch all along the right side of the neck. Take another breath here. Still full and deep breaths, so maybe a little sound in the back of the throat. You might use your hand to lightly help the head back up through center, and now let the right ear fall towards the right shoulder. Let the right shoulder settle down, the left shoulder melt down as well, the hands relax down by the sides or in the lap. Gaze straight out and ahead. You can always close the eyes here. Looking for that nice sensation on the left side of the neck. 
Just letting the head be really heavy. Another breath. This is our lateral flexion of moving the head laterally side to side. And this angle on the side here. You might use the right hand to help the head back up through center. And finding a twisting motion now, just in the neck. So find a spot, gaze straight out in the head, and imagine like you're painting a horizontal line with the gaze as we move the head and trying to keep the ears level. So the tendency will be to tilt the head as we move. Find that steady gaze and start to look towards the left, keeping the shoulders facing forward, the gaze coming over towards the left, keeping the eyes right in line with the chin, turning as far as you can with just the neck moving, checking in that you're not tucking the chin towards the shoulder or the collarbone. The chin is staying nice and upright. And the tendency will be often for the left ear to be dropping back towards the ground behind you. Can you keep both ears nice and lifted? Maybe you use a little bit of strength of the neck muscles to turn the head a little bit more. Noticing if the sensation moves into the shoulders or the back, further down from the neck. Maybe you feel some opening across the left front of the chest, the left shoulder even. Take another breath here. Keeping that nice steady gaze, painting your horizontal line along the, along the horizon, turning the head back to center. And now start to paint your line over towards the right. Keeping the gaze in line, with the nose and the chin, the same pace here as you turn the head, check in the chin is level with the ground as well. It's not dropping down to the, the chest, neither ear is tilting. Check them out, maybe use a little touch of the fingers, maybe then turn and twist the head just a little bit more. Still sitting up nice and tall. Long, deep breaths, another breath here. Maybe turning the head just a little more and slowly painting your horizontal line with the eyes all the way back to center. Coming back in into the center, go ahead and let the uh, left ear drop back towards the left shoulder. And this time you'll add a twisting motion of the neck here while you have this flexion. So start to take the gaze down towards the ground. Any support that you need of the left hand on the side of the head, you could add that in. And then start to turn the gaze up towards the ceiling, noticing how the stretch migrates. And then move at your own pace, the gaze moving down towards the ground keeping both shoulders soft, the jaw soft, and then back up towards the sky, any support of a hand on the side of the head. Maybe even both hands. Another breath or two here, long steady breath still. And then bring the gaze back straight out in front, Take the left hand to the side of the head, just to help it up so you don't lose some of that stretchiness you've created on the right side. Notice if you feel any difference, very small maybe differences between how the left and right feel. And then start to let the right ear drop over towards the right shoulder. Pause with the face straight out in front of you. Maybe a little smile or an opening of the mouth and moving the jaw around. If you have some tension, you need to release. And then let the gaze go down towards the ground. Pause there. Take the gaze up towards the ceiling. And you're really pressing the chin a little bit up towards the ceiling. Both shoulders relaxed and check in that you're also not letting 
the right shoulder drop down towards the ground so you're creating less crunching. Keep both sides of the ribs and the sides of the body nice and tall. So not this, upright, really just moving the neck here. And then moving from towards the ground up towards the ceiling, down towards the ground, up towards the ceiling. Any pace, if you need to stay in one of these spots for a moment, just another couple of breaths. And the gaze is out straight ahead now, maybe the right hand helping to bring the head back up. Moving into a little bit of strength in here. So some of those same movements, but now take the left heel and palm of the hand and place it on the left temple. And as you start to let the left ear come down towards the left shoulder, resist with the hand. So the head is trying to move over towards the left shoulder. The left hand is resisting it and you're starting to get that stretch through the right side, but you're also getting some strengthening here. And then pause there. And now as you lift the head back up to center, you're gonna resist a little bit with the head. So the hand is pressing the head back up and the neck is resisting. You're adding just the right amount of pressure for it to be right for you. And now the right ear is gonna to come towards the right shoulder as you're resisting with the left hand. If you need to add the right hand in as well for a little bit of support, add that in, keep the face straight out in the head noticing where you're feeling the stretch, notice where you're feeling some strengthening happening in the neck, and then resist. The hand is resisting now the head as you're bringing the head back up to center. We'll do that once more, your own pace here, the left ear towards the left shoulder, resisting with the hand. Resisting with the head as the hand presses up, back through center. And now the head resisting as the hand presses and resist all the way back up to center. Take a moment, let the left hand come back down into the lap. You might even close the eyes here. Maybe that was the first time you'd ever done something like that. Notice if you feel any extra strengthening on either side of the neck. And we'll do it with the other side. So the right hand coming to the right temple, the side of the head. Start to let the right ear come down towards the right shoulder, resisting with the hand. And now the head and neck resisting as the hand presses the head back up towards center. And then over left ear towards the left shoulder, keeping the gaze straight out and ahead. And the hand resisting the head as the head lifts back up through center and then as fast or as slow as you want to go back once more through. As the head comes over, the hand resists and then the head resists the hand pressing up through center. The hand pressing over towards the left shoulder, the head or neck resisting. Check in with the jaw, any tension there. And then the hand resisting the head coming back up through center. Go ahead and let the hands come back into the lap. Notice maybe you need a little roll of the shoulders. And once more front and back now. And go ahead and bring the left hand behind the head, the right hand to the center of the forehead. As you come forward, the chin into the chest, resist with the hand on the forehead. So as the chin comes forward, resist it with the hand on the forehead. And as you lift the head back up, resist with the hand on the back of the skull. 
and then start to let the head come a little bit back behind you, but use the hand behind the head to make sure you don't just drop the head back. It's just moving very slightly, the gaze going up maybe to the top corner of your room. And then resist with the hand on the forehead as you bring the head back up through center. And then the hand on the forehead resisting as you press the head forward, forward flexion again, chin into the chest. Resist with the hand on the back of the skull as you press the head back up through center. Let it come a little bit back behind you. Lift the chin forward, gaze up towards the ceiling, and then press the head back up through center. Pause there, bring the hands down, a roll of the shoulders. Bring the arms out to the side in this T-shape, the palms out and away, really spread the fingers, give the fingers a little wiggle here. And the hands can be anywhere from a little bit lower to the height of the shoulders. Might give the shoulders just a little roll to check in there. And then start to turn and rotate the palm to face even more up towards the ceiling, getting a nice stretch. The thumb starting to point a little bit towards the back of the room and then rotate the palms facing out and away, down towards the ground, the thumbs point down, the palms start to face towards the back of the room and you're rotating all the way up and into the shoulder socket, the shoulder starting to roll a little bit forward here. Wiggle the fingers there. And a couple times at your own pace, rotate all the way back up, palms facing up, thumbs pointing back behind you opening up a little bit across the chest. You might even lift the heart a little. And then exhale, rotate the palms face down, the thumbs point down, the palms face the back of the room, the shoulders roll a little bit forward here. And again, if you wanna move a little bit faster or a little bit slower, do this another round like this with the fingers spread out really nice and wide so you can wiggle them the entire time if you wanted. Mm -hmm. And then bring the palms to face out and away, make fists with the hands and do it a couple times like this, just noticing if that changes the sensation at all. So rotate the knuckle side, fingernail side up, the thumbs facing towards the back, rotate the thumb forward and the knuckles, fingernails back behind you, roll the shoulders a little forward, nice. Ooh, maybe starting to get a little fatigue from holding the hands up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Give the wrists a roll here in whichever kind of rotation of the whole arm feels good. Roll one direction, then roll the other. You should feel pretty good with the fists. Nice. And go ahead and bring the hands back into the lap. Find a couple rounds of cat and cow here, keeping the hands on the lap, sliding the hands down towards the knees, rounding the back. You might hold on to the front of the knees as you let the chin come into the chest. Your cat shape. Inhale, start to lift the belly up away from the legs. Slide the hands up towards the hips, the elbows drawing back. Puff the chest a little bit forward, but puffing it more up towards the ceiling. Create a little space from the bottom of the ribs between the hip, trying to lift the rib cage up. And then we'll move at your own pace here. The exhales you round in. And you can eat, always stay for a breath here. And the inhales you transition to this open shape, your cow-like shape. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, opening up. Exhale. Any other little movements you need, if you need some more rolls of the neck, add those in. Mm -hmm. And then settle back into the center. Sit up nice and tall and rotate to face over towards the right. Find your lunge shape, taking the left foot back behind you, the right thigh on the edge of the seat, the right ankle about underneath the right knee. 
and up on the ball of the left foot. So it's like you have this really giant high heel on. You can have the knee bend quite a lot here. Then turn the hips, turn the chest, turn the gaze over towards the right. Your hands can be on the hips here. And you might sneak the left foot back a little bit further. And all we're gonna do here, and you can keep the hands on the hips if you really have a strong preference to reach the arms up and overhead, you could do that. You're gonna just bend the left knee even coming up onto the tippy toes, really just the, the toe pad here, even lifting kind of the bottom of the toes. And then press back so you're trying to draw the left heel all the way back behind you, lengthening the leg any amount. And then bend, even getting a stretch in the toes by coming onto the top of the toes, getting a stretch here through the front of the thigh, maybe somewhere else for you, and then press the heel back. So bend the knee quite a lot, roll onto the toes. And this is a balancing act here for sure, even seated. Definitely if you're trying this standing, probably a bit of a smaller movement. So if you want, you could always hover off of the seat of the chair. Do another round or two on your own, any pace here. Looking for just stretch all the way up and down the leg here. Mm-hmm. And then go ahead and find a space. You might take the right hand to the seat of the chair as you draw the left leg in and you rotate all the way over to the other side to do it there. So setting up the left ankle underneath the left knee, start to wiggle the right foot long back behind you and find that spot where there's a soft bend in the knee. Turn the hips, turn the chest to face over towards the left. Hands can stay on the hips. Maybe you reach them up, maybe you're balancing. If you're balancing this movement on the foot, it's gonna be a lot smaller. Go ahead and bend the right knee quite a lot, stretching into the toes, stretching into the front, trying to draw the right knee down towards the ground, and then press back through the heel, lifting the inner right thigh. Stretch it back, lengthening, and then bending again. And there's some work in the core here to even keep the spine upright, to keep the chest and the gaze facing over towards the right, the left. <laughs> Another round or two on your own. Nice. And find that spot kind of in the center. Might shift the left hand to the seat of the chair as you Draw the right foot back in, and we're heading back over towards the right, this time setting up for our warrior two shape. So you could do this standing. You're starting to sneak the left foot back behind you and the whole bottom of the left foot coming on the ground as much as possible. It may need to come further away from the chair. Maybe you need a little soft bend of the left knee and the right ankle is underneath the right knee. You could be doing this standing as well. Your right knee is pressing out, your right glutes engaged, and you're turning the chest away from the right knee. So here's that twisting motion. You can use your hands on the ribs if that helps. Try to keep the nose right in line with the belly button. Maybe you stay right here, maybe you take the arms out long. So about the height of the shoulders again, now the thumbs pointing same direction as your chest, the palms down. You might spread the fingers and give them a little wiggle here. And if you want to look over the right fingertips, you can do that. Here's the twist of the neck. Couple breaths here. And finding our way into a side angle pose, start to really reach the right fingers forward, forward, forward. Find some length here on the right side of the chest and place the right forearm on the thigh. You might want a pillow or a block on top of the thigh for a little bit of extra height here. So you can always add that in. Turn the right palm to face up towards the sky. Roll the right shoulder onto the back and rotate the chest away from the right leg. Press really firmly back through the left outer heel. You're lifting the left arch. You can keep the left hand on the hip. Maybe you reach it up and overhead. It's trying to make a line, a 
palm facing down towards the right foot from the fingers all the way down the side of the body, down through the left foot. Take a couple of breaths here. You could be doing this standing, of course. You could have the block out of the equation of the forearm on the thigh instead. Breathe space into the sides of the ribs. And if it doesn't feel good to be turning the neck to be looking at the ceiling, look straight ahead, maybe down at the ground at your right foot. Another breath here. Bringing the left hand back to the left hip, press into the right thigh, back up through center. We'll pause with the feet in the center, so kind of wiggle and heel toe the feet in, about hips distance, maybe a little further apart, and just a really gentle wash of the knee side to side here, and lifting the edges of the feet in whatever way feels right to you. You could be up on the toes, the ball of the feet. You might pause in the center and just lift the heels. Give the front of the ankles a little roll. I will head off to the other side. So taking the left foot off the side, maybe you have your block on the chair so that you could grab it easily when we find our way into that side angle pose. Take the right foot long back behind you. Try to bring the bottom of the right foot on the ground, lifting the arch. Maybe it comes a little bit further away from the chair to find that. Engage your left glute, the left knee pressing towards the left pinky toe. Probably have the chest facing the knee a bit. So start to draw the left ribs away from the knee and then rotate everything away as well. The chin can stay right in the center of the chest. Arms can go out long. Wiggle the fingers, maybe the palms facing down. Maybe you twist the neck to gaze over at the left fingers. Let the shoulders drop down away from the ears. If at any point you want the hands on the hips or to turn the neck, any other changes that you need to make here, take a couple of long, steady, deep breaths. Maybe standing. Maybe even closing the eyes. The right hand might find the right hip as you reach the left hand forward, forward, forward. You can even rotate the palm up as you place the forearm on the left thigh, maybe with the block on the thigh for a little bit of extra height. Either way, the palm facing up, rolling the left shoulder onto the back. Start to turn the left side of the ribs a little bit more forward. Press back through the right outer heel, lifting the arch of the foot. Gaze might go up towards the ceiling, down towards the ground. You might take the right hand and reach it, turning the palm to face down towards the left foot. It's getting us nice big stretch all the way from the outer pinky side of the right foot all the way up through the right ribs, out through the fingers. Can you stretch them a little bit more forward at this diagonal? Nice. Another breath or two, choosing where you want to gaze, what amount of twist of the neck is going to feel good for you right now. If the right hand was lifted, bringing it back to the hip, press into the feet, bring the torso back up, right? Find a soft bend of the right knee, the feet coming and heel toeing back into center. This time takes the legs out nice and long. Might give the knees a little bend. Might just gently let the toes wash in and out. <sighs> and then find your way back seated with the feet maybe about hips distance apart, the ankles pretty much right underneath the knees. 
I might move the feet in a little bit closer to each other so that if you had this block that it could rest on the lap. You might have it on this lowest height. You might bring it up to the medium height. You might even balance it at a taller height or add some other pillows. What you'll do is sit up nice and tall and start to turn over to the left, rotating the chest rotating towards the left and the right shoulder starting to come down towards the block. And take the right back of the forearm onto the block, the palm facing up, very similar to what you were just doing with the forearm on the front bent thigh. Rotate a little bit more. If you have more space, you might take the right elbow a little bit more towards the left knee and starting to revolve the chest a little bit more. And maybe you have space to even start to bring the right shoulder down on the block. I'll rotate so you can see from a different angle here too. I'm rotating to the side. I'm bringing my right shoulder down towards the lap, towards the knees, the palm faces up. And I'm trying to really pull the right hand and the right shoulder down while I'm lifting the left side of the ribs. And I'm seeing where I can feel this stretch. I might turn the gaze even more up to the sky, twisting the neck. You could always take your left hand to the left hip. You could keep it on the left leg. You might even press the palm of the hands together here if you feel like you have some good balance. This is kind of a variation of our thread the needle. If you wanted to change the height lower, you could do that. Being really sensitive to where you're feeling this twist. Don't want anything that feels like a sharp pain or like a torque or a pinching sensation. If you do, ease out of it. Use your hands on the lap. But otherwise, we'll take about two or three more breaths here, depending on your pace. And if you had the left hand anywhere else, bring it back to the hip. Use it to help turn the chest to center. Slide the forearm back across the right hand to the right side of the lap. Sit up tall and just check in for a notice. Let the spine be neutral. Notice where you felt that stretch. Take a couple of deep breaths. Maybe close the eyes. And finding this on the other side, check in with the placement of your block and the height. Start to take the back of the left forearm, the palm facing up towards your face onto it, the block, and start to rotate the left shoulder over towards the right knee. It's heading that direction. They, they probably, for most of us, are not gonna meet. And as you do that, you're sliding the forearm along the block, rotating the chest, while also getting a little bit of this forward folding action. And maybe you find the space to drop maybe the upper arm onto the block, the shoulder. Maybe you take the right hand to the hip, maybe coming back behind you. And can you lift the right shoulder away from the lap up towards the ceiling? And maybe you gaze up towards the ceiling. If it's much better on the neck, you could look down at the feet. Take a couple of breaths here. Might press wherever the left arm is meeting into the block and try to stretch the hand away from the shoulder. Draw the left ear and the left shoulder away from each other. Bring the right hand back to the hip. Start to let the chest come back through center, sliding the elbow across the block, the forearm. Bring the torso upright. Check in. Give the shoulders a little wiggle. Might roll the neck in those casual but safe rolls along the collarbone.
And finding your way into the center. You might take a block behind you and you could even place the block somewhere that your lumbar spine is connected to it. I'll turn so you can see what that looks like. So you might take the block on its kind of medium or whatever pillows you're using to rest on the seat. So it's really on the sacrum, kind of this flat part of the low back, right, where the spine meets the hips. And that might just give you a nice little kind of boost to have your natural curve of the low back and to stack the shoulders. So you can try that since you have something with you today. And if it's not the right size with your chair to do this, then that's totally fine. You don't have to add it in. We're going to find our figure four stretch here. So I'm going to rotate my chair just back to face the center. Start to go ahead and shift the weight so that you're drawing the right knee up and into the chest. And if you have the block behind you, that might take a little negotiating. And you would notice if it feels different to have the support behind you. We usually do this. You can be holding underneath the right thigh. You could be holding on the front side. You might pulse up and down a little bit. And then draw the knee up and in. Find the ankle across the left thigh. Go ahead and let the right knee fall out. Sit up really nice and tall. And you might stay right here. Maybe you start to fold over. And maybe if you had the block behind you, you're actually paying a lot of tension of pressing the back into that support. Maybe you need to wiggle the seat a little bit further back to keep that connection. As you press back into that pillow, that block behind you, try to then, as you press back, also lift, lift the heart forward. And maybe you're coming down to a spot where you bring the forearms on the legs or you have a soft bend of the elbows and the hands are on the legs. Some people will have some more space to start to fold even more over the legs keeping that press back of the seat into the block, the pillow behind you. If you don't have one there, then imagine that you did and press back right from your tailbone area, right from the back of the hips, the pelvis. Maybe for a couple of breaths, you let the chin fall into the chest, the head be pretty heavy. Another breath or two. Pressing into the left foot. Start to lift the head back in line with the rest of the spine. Start to lift the rest of the spine to stack over the hips. Give the ankle just a little bit of a roll here before we put it down. You can point and flex the foot. You can roll one direction, then the other. Wiggle the toes. And use your hands to help support as you bring the knee back up and the knee down. Any adjustments you need here, adjusting the placement of the block or the pillow behind you, use that to help you sit up tall, lift the bottom of the ribs away from the hips, lift the center of the chest up away from the lap, and then plant the right foot firmly down on the ground, lifting the left knee up. Might even give the ankle a quick roll here, a quick pulse of the knee up and down. And as you're ready, crossing over, maybe you notice that it feels a little bit different with that extra placement of the block behind you. Go ahead and start to let the knee come out to the side. Take a couple of breaths here, settling in. And then start to fold over the legs, pressing back into the chair behind you, lifting the heart up and away. Maybe staying up on the hands, the palms, maybe finding the forearms on the legs. And then once you've found that right amount of forward fold, you might round the back a little bit, let the chin fall into the chest, still pressing back behind you, heart coming a little forward. 
notice if there's any element of kind of a little balance with this block pressure behind you. Check in with the fingers and the toes that they're not gripping. The jaw isn't either either. Hmm. Couple more breaths here. Pressing in to the right foot, lifting the chest. Slowly, carefully bringing the shoulders back over the hips, keeping the ankle crossed, a roll of the ankle, clenching the toes, spreading them, point the toes, flex the toes. And as you're ready, using the hand to help bring the left foot back down to the ground. Firmly plant into the feet. Maybe you're choosing to keep this support behind you if it feels nice. One more stretch for the arms, our wrap of the arms, our little fold. So stretch the arms out to the sides, reach them up overhead. Bring the right arm on top, hands to the shoulders, elbows into the chest. Let the chin fall in. Round the back any amount, any sway side to side. Maybe as you sway the shoulders over towards the right, the right ear towards the right shoulder, as you sway the shoulders towards the left leg, the left ear towards the left shoulder. I'm exaggerating the movement a bit. You can make it your own. Moving carefully with the neck, with intention, integrity. Settle back into the center. If you are swaying, press into the feet, bring the torso upright. Just a little lift of the elbows here, not our full eagle wrap. Lift the elbows up the height of the shoulders, draw them away from the chest. Feel that stretch along the back of the shoulder blades here along the outside on the upper arms. Big breath into the back of the lungs, softening out. One more big breath here, inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. Let the elbows come back into the chest, the hands slide down the arms into the lap, a little roll of the shoulders and stretching the arms out to the sides, really reaching them out, up, and the left arm coming on top, hands to the shoulders, elbows drop into the chest, chin to the chest, rounding in, swaying side to side. Pausing anywhere along the way, maybe just folding really deeply over the legs, Looking for deep sensation, but it doesn't have to look deep. And as you're ready, pausing in the center, press into the feet, bring the shoulders back upright over the hips. Start to lift the elbows away from the chest, about the height of the shoulders, draw the elbows away from the chest. Feel that stretch on the back of the shoulder blades. Pressing the feet, sit up even taller. Big inhale through the nose, big breath out the mouth. Once more like this, a big clearing breath into the nose. One more inhale here. And let the elbows rest down. As you bring the hands down to the lap, you might give the arms a little squeeze, a little massage here all the way down the forearms, to the wrists, to the palms of the hands. Maybe you interlace the fingers and squeeze the fingers together. Grab the palms of the hands together here for a moment. 
Get a lot of heat generating. And as you're ready, you bring in the palms of the hands, one stacked on top of the other, on top of the heart, closing the eyes if that's okay, or just softening the gaze. Feel the warmth of your hands on your heartbeat. Feel the rise and fall of the chest underneath the hands. Take a moment here to check back in. Check in physically. Check in mentally. Check in emotionally. Notice if anything has shifted. Notice if you learned anything. Notice in what ways you want to continue to learn to explore, to strengthen or soften, to expand and release. We'll take one of those big breaths together. Big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let the air fall out. Slowly, if the eyes were closed, opening them. Maybe letting the eyes wander around the room, taking in your space. In this last little moment with your hands on the heart, thanking yourself, thanking each other for taking this time to move, to breathe, to connect. Thank you so much for joining me. Be well.